Section 1. The embryo takes shape. Day 13. By day 13, significant developments have occurred since fertilization. The fertilized egg, now a cluster of rapidly dividing cells, has firmly embedded itself into the uterine wall. This marks a critical point in pregnancy where the groundwork for a successful pregnancy is being laid. The embryo is now entering a phase of rapid development with specialized structures emerging to support its growth. One of the remarkable changes is the formation of the chorionic villi, finger-like projections that extend from the embryo into the maternal uterine lining. These villi play a crucial role in establishing a connection between the mother and the developing embryo. Section 2. Anchoring and Nourishing Primary Chorionic Villi and Trophoblastic Lacunae The primary chorionic villi are the initial invasion force of the developing embryo into the mother's tissues. These villi are vital for establishing a strong connection between the developing placenta and the uterine wall. They act as anchors, securing the embryo in place for the duration of the pregnancy. The trophoblastic lacunae are spaces that develop within the syncytia trophoblast, the outer layer of cells surrounding the developing embryo. These lacunae are significant because they are filled with maternal blood, providing essential nutrients and oxygen to the developing embryo. This network of villi and lacunae forms the basis of the placenta, a remarkable organ that will sustain the developing baby throughout the pregnancy. Section 3 a protective space, the chorionic cavity. As the embryo grows, a fluid-filled cavity called the chorionic cavity develops around it. This cavity is lined by a membrane called the chorion. The chorionic cavity serves as a protective cushion for the developing embryo, shielding it from external shocks and pressures. It also provides a stable environment for the embryo to grow and develop without constrictions. Section 4. The Foundation of the Human Body, the Bilamina Embryonic Disc Within the chorionic cavity lies the Bilamina Embryonic Disc, a flat, disc-shaped structure consisting of two layers of cells, the epiblast and the hypoblast. These two layers will give rise to all the tissues and organs of the developing human. The epiblast, the upper layer, will form the embryo proper, including the skin, nervous system and sensory organs. The hyperblast, the lower layer, will contribute to the formation of extraembryonic structures, including the yolk sac, which provides early nourishment to the embryo. Section 5. Connecting mother and embryo, the connecting stalk and secondary yolk sac. The connecting stalk is a narrow band of tissue that connects the embryonic disc to the developing placenta. This stalk is the precursor to the umbilical cord, a lifeline that will transport nutrients and oxygen from the mother to the fetus and remove waste products. As the embryo develops, a secondary yolk sac forms. This sac plays a role in nutrient transfer during the early stages of development before the placenta is fully functional. By day 13, the embryo, though still in its very early stages, has successfully established a lifeline with the mother. The structures that have developed by this stage, including the chorionic villi, trophoblastic blastic lacunae, chorionic cavity, bilamina, embryonic disc, connecting stalk and secondary yolk sac, are all crucial for the continued growth and development of the embryo.